Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reading you a book called Handsome Hog. And I think you might be thinking why I haven't posted story videos for a while. And please like and subscribe to my video if you want me to read this book running right now. One day, Prickly Porcupine, who was very prickly and not pretty at all, was digging a large hole to sleep. She was thirsty after her hard work, so she went to the river for a drink. It just so happened that Handsome Hog was also looking for a large hole to live in. He didn't want to dig one himself because his beautiful tux, tusks would get muddy. Hog found the empty hole dug by Porcupine and and Hog and Mr. Hog and all the little baby hogs moved in just like that. When Porcupine returned to a hog, it was full of big hogs and little hogs. But I am the one who dug the spoon in a hole, complained Porcupine. Well, it's mine now, you ugly creature, said Hog rudely. Go away! That evening, Handsome Hog and his family trotted off to the river. They greeted Columbus, Columbus, monkey and leopard and all the other beautiful animals as they ga gathered for a drink. But they didn't talk to the funny animals and they especially didn't talk to Porcupine. Porcupine was tired. She spent all afternoon in the hot sun trying to find another hog. When she saw the hogs to at the river, she waddled down the tunnel into the hall, curled up in the dark and went to sleep. Handsome Hog trotted back and forth by the water edges, imagining that other animals were saying, There goes Handsome Hog! What fine looking fur! What an elegant tail! Lion arrived to take a drink. His huge mane was all fluffed up by the wind. Such untidy hair, murmured Hog, admiring his own smooth head. Lion growled and walked off. After Lion came, a wild dog came. His coat was sludgy and muddy. Such ugly Clothes murmured, Hog admiring his own fine coat. Wild Dog snarled and left. And even when beautiful Treetop came down to drink, Hog stared at her, the dark blue marks under her eyes and murmured, Miserable faced people should stay home. Cheetah hissed and quickly walked away. Handsome Hog was smiling happily at his reflection when at him Lion was looking crossly while Dog was. They were all coming straight at him and ran. And Lion and Cheetah, he noticed the other animals were looking even more cross and Cheetah was crosser still. Uh oh! Handsome Hog said Handsome Hog. He turned and Wild Dog began to take chase him. They chased him past the tall twisted thorn trees. They chased, chased him through the dry prickly burr bushes. They chased him under the weight of the thorns. And they even chased him through the sticky swamp. But Hog ran and ran. Finally, he saw his new home and he rushed down the hall. Smack into Porcupine asleep on the, on the floor. Ouch! Hog yelled as hundreds of pickles, prickles, 
punctured him. He turned and ran out again. When Lion and Cheetah and the wild dog saw Handsome Hog run out of the hole, they laughed so much they, they forgot to chase him anymore. His tail was sticking straight in the air, uh, up in the air, stiff as a stick, and his face was all swollen and full of prickles. Hog went to the bird to gaze at his reflection, but his tail was sticking straight up in the air, and his face had large, wordy, bumpy lump. Warty hog, warty hog, the animals began to chant, and wart hog he had been called ever since. And nowadays, wart hog is careful to choose an empty hole to live in, and once he made a fine white tunnel he always goes in slowly and carefully and backwards if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and click the like button down below bye